Welcome back to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at The Sun of Neptune, Chapter 12, the last in Frank's small series here. So it starts off with some glorious chaos of just good, fun battling. Frank is just battling through the cohort. Um, Hazel's riding on top of the elephant. Piercy is just fighting like, um, like they say, a demon. Like he's just spinning around and he's um, ducking and sliding and jumping and he's not fighting like a Roman. Um, but, but it's beautiful and it's wonderful. Hazel gets on the elephant and they charge through, um, through the fortress or battlegrounds. And they enter into, um, into the area where they're keeping the flags. And everyone's like shocked, like what's going on? Um, they stomp on their table and knock the flag bearers away. Uh, Frank and Piercy, they grab the flags, they get on top of the elephant, and then they start coming out of the fortress. And everyone's cheering like, yeah, you guys did it. Uh, Raina comes down on her Pegasus and says, hey, we're finished. Great job, everyone. Um, let's go to the honors. And then everyone's kind of going outside and they're just, wow, Frank, you did it. The fifth cohort won. And there's so much celebration. But then there's a shock. Um, the centurion leader, Gwen, she has a spear sticking out of her chest. Um, and there's blood everywhere and she's coming out on a stretcher so the medics come when they're trying to heal her but she dies and everyone's like <gasps> but then Gwen comes back to life um, Frank thinks maybe Octavian did this he, he doesn't know for sure but he's looking and he thinks Octavian looks suspicious because someone speared um, Gwen from the back so it wasn't an honorable fight. And it might have even happened after the fight was over, after the war games were over. And so there's something very suspicious about this. But Gwen comes back to the life and she says that um, she went to some place and then she saw an exit door. So she just turned around and came out of the door and we see came back to life. Then we hear this boom, death loses its hold and something 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 and the dead start to rise again and the elephant goes Arr! the pegasus scorpio kind of rears all the cameras are like <gasps> and then this huge fireball comes out and piercy's like i know this voice and then this um soldier comes out i don't know if you know the movie rambo but it's kind of like this like this army soldier with this uh, flat cut he has these uh, night vision goggles uh, these grenades doo -doo -doo -doo. you know a knife he has this huge uh, machine gun <laughs> and uh, and all the soldiers are like <gasps> but Frank feels something different Frank feels pulled forward towards this person and everyone starts to kneel down except for Piercy and Piercy's like I know you I fought you and he's like well maybe you fought Ares but you didn't fight me if you would have fought me you would have died um, and so there's like this tension between Mars and Piercy and Piercy doesn't like Mars at all but Frank is like come on Piercy kneel down Piercy kneels down and then Mars gives this really important message saying hey look there's going to be a quest. Um, you need to send three people. One of them is going to be Frank. One of them is going to be Piercy. And then the other one is, uh, is whoever you want, which we know it's probably going to be Hazel. And um, Octavian and Reyna kind of are talking to Mars. And Octavian's like, oh, oh, super wonderful, amazing Mars. Um, he's groveling which would be one of the vocabulary words later and then Mars says happy birthday son and he pulls Frank towards him and he throws Frank his M16 and it changes boom into a spear 
and he says this is this was your mother's skill not arrows but the spear we don't know what it's talking about or what's going to happen but he says it has three charges use them well i don't know what that means but it sounds pretty powerful and that is his happy birthday gift to his son and then he disappears frank at the end of this um you know everyone's looking at him like with jealousy with envy with pride because mars is you know it's jupiter's number one in rome but mars oh man he's so close they love mars and so <laughs> frank is mars son and that's really really important that's a big deal and so people are kind of jealous and then he gets to go on a quest and mars is like hey reyna did you see how amazing my son was you better give my son honors my son was so good look at this is my son i'm so proud of you and frank is like turning red oh my goodness i don't know what's going on and uh so but at the end frank isn't excited because he was so happy just a moment ago but now he's going on a quest to alaska to die and he is not happy right now well the vocabulary words uh, plowing down um, plowing is like um, a farmer does he takes like this tool and he pushes it in the dirt to mix the dirt plow plowing down means like knocking over and so Reina and Piercy and Frank were just plowing down the enemy they're just knocking them over a pilum we I have this vocabulary word I think before but I just wanted to show you a picture again um, this is a kind of Roman style spear and you know it, they keep talking about it in this um, battle so I just wanted to make sure you had an image of what that was like gauze gauze is like a bandage that you use to stop blood it's really thick and it's cushy and you can wrap it around someone to uh, stop some bleeding infrared <laughs> these are the um, they see with red light is what infrared means and so Mars has these like special goggles that he can put on to see in the dark and it shoots a red light that we can't see we can't see that light but it shoots out this light and then it changes the colors so you can see uh, what's going on outside infrared placate placate is to like calm down or to um, give peace uh, to especially if like some uh, king or queen um, feels angry you want to placate them oh no that's not what I meant oh lord I'm so sorry here's all this gold right oh all this gold <sighs> okay I guess I won't kill you so because Piercy's like I don't like you Mars I think we fought and Frank's like, oh my goodness, Mars is going to kill Piercy, but he doesn't. Um, groveler. Um, grovel means to um, bow to someone too much. Oh, you're so amazing. Oh, my Lord. Oh, you're the best. Oh, no one is like you. Oh, you're... Uh, so this kind of um, talking about someone so well and just um, humbling yourself too much. And Octavian is really good at this. And they add an ER to make it a person, grovel or shish kebab. A shish kebab is a kind of food. Um, it's on a stick and it's like chicken and pineapple and um, you know maybe some a vegetable like zucchini and some more chicken. And you put it on a barbecue and you turn it in this kind of um, shish kebab. And so Reina had been she was shish kebab shish shish kebabed <laughs> um, by a spear and so uh, mars calls her centurion shish kebab discussion question so the discussion question i have for you is who do you think killed gwen right now that's the biggest mystery right who did it frank thinks it's octavian but we don't know okay um what do you think happened how did or why if it was octavian you know or someone else why would they try to kill gwen 
We'll find out more later, I'm sure. But what do you think and who do you think did it? Of course, please make your own discussion question. This was a long chapter, so there are a lot of different things that you could ask and talk about. Well, that's the end. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.